so let's recap our failure a little bit okay so we we we, we think about a divine conquer algorithm okay and we want to multiply to n bit integers and the way we 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 we, we did that is we have uh, a problem of size n and then we multiplied it with uh, we do that by multiplying n over 2 bit integers okay four times okay and this give us this recurrence okay and in the end it's solved to o n square okay so how 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 did we get to o n square so there are there are many many factors for that first of all um so it, it depends on this okay the number of time you spend on each level it depends on this four four is the number of sub problems that we have right and it also depends on this two okay um how much can we uh divide right if we uh this is like we split the problem into two okay so if we can do anything with it with 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 any of this factor so if we can do this faster if we can divide more aggressively or if we can reduce the number of sub um number of uh, sub problems we might be able to to beat this okay and before we we try to work on any of this um let me note quickly that this this is this is not the place to go because the input size is of size n so you can hardly do something in 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 sublinear time so this this should be there it should be optimal now so let's uh so the goal is to do something with either this or that okay so kerasuba so this this is not uh, a, a japanese name it's uh, it's russian okay kerasuba not not something really nice so it instead of having to do four multiplications he was he was able to uh, get this done with only three multiplications okay so before we, we we look at the details so let's see how 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 changing this from four to three give us okay what's the running time okay so let's uh, we, we would follow the same uh, technique to analyze the running time okay so we start with uh, an instance uh, in, uh, a problem of size n then we have this to be n over 2 but instead of 4 we have only 3 and then you have another uh, n over 4 but instead of 16 you have only 9 and then and so on so on okay so let's count the amount of work you you spend on each level okay so let's let's first count the, the number of sub problems so one here three here nine here so this is three to the zero three to the one three to the two and so on okay the amount of work for per per sub problem for this is cn so this is cn over two this level is cn over four and there are one sub problem so you get uh two cn so this three sub problem so three over two and this is nine or oh, and uh, so it's going to be nine cn over four so it's 9 over 4 cn and you can guess the pattern right so but but this is uh, what 3 over 2 square cn okay so the next level you're gonna have a 
27 over 8 cn and that's uh, 3 over 2 cube cn okay so you can guess the pattern for the running time per level okay so the total running time would look like this so let's uh, get it roughly first so it's tn equals cn plus 3 over 2 cn plus 3 over 2 square cn plus 3 over 2 cube cn and so on so so how far how far do we go okay how far do we go so it depends on the number of levels again the number of levels the uh you can figure out by uh, looking at this two okay you divide the input size by a factor of two every time um so how many times can you do that so it's the same number of levels so it takes you uh log base two of n levels okay so this would go on this sum would go on until the last one will be three over two to the log n times cn okay so what is this sum what is this sum to Okay, so this sums to uh, we can we we should solve it. So we this is the largest term, right? So we we factor it out. So it's three over two log n times c n, and what is left is 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 again it's a geometric uh, series. So the last one is one, and then you have two over three, and and, and so on. So the last term is one, uh, pre and the next to last term is 2 to the 3 square and so on and, 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 and the last one will be like something really small but this sum up to at most uh, to something to an, another constant C prime okay we, we will talk about how to do this l later on but this is just another constant so you end up with uh, C prime prime let's say times 3 over 2 log n and let's do some math so it's going to be n times so 3 to the log n over 2 to the log n but 2 to the log n is n right so this is n so it cancel out so you end up with this but but what is this so c prime prime 3 to the log n so let's try to do some easy multiple uh, 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 manipulation. So three is two to the log three, right? At this times log n, and we can switch this. So this c prime prime two to the log n times log three, and we can. Uh, take this as uh, factor this this is uh, 2 to the log n so it's c prime prime c no n to the log base 2 of 3 how much is that so this is something less than 2 like 1.6 I think okay so let's me uh, so we'll figure out but this is something like this is much less than n to the n square right so this is less than 2 definitely right because 2 to the 2 is 4 and this is smaller so um, so it it ran faster it's faster than uh, 2 to the uh, uh, no n, n it's faster than the if in n square algorithms okay so let's let's so we get this okay, something like uh, or n to the log plus 2 of 3 okay which is faster than or n square better than of n square 
Okay, so how 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 you do the uh, n bit integer multiplication set with just four? Okay, so the key is this number. Okay, with with three. Okay, so let's go back to look at the our multiplication. So you have a equals two to the n over two c plus d, and b is two to the n over two e plus f. And what we want is is this a times b, which is like two to the n c e plus two to the n over two c f plus e d plus d f. Okay, and now if you look at that, uh, we have four you know terms, right? And and the uh, the naive divide and conquer would spend time uh, doing four multiplications. Kirasuba did that for just uh, three multiplications. So we need to, the idea is that we need to get this with just one multiplication. But that's hard, right? So what, what can we do? So if you think carefully, this is CF. So you, you want to multiply C with F. And you want to want multiply e with d, right? So, what if we uh, do this? So suppose we do this multiplication: c plus d times e plus f. What do we get? If you do that, we get c e, right? Plus c f plus d e plus df. So instead of getting just these two terms, we get four. Okay. But can we get these two terms? Yeah, we can. Suppose we already do this. If suppose we already multiply C and E and we multiply D and F. In the last multiplication we do this. So this is uh, N over two bit multiplication okay and we get we get too many terms we get C E and, and D F but we can subtract okay we can subtract this and we can also subtract this so that we we have the remaining two terms that we want right so in the end the you have to do only three multiplications okay what are they so this is the first multiplication and this is the second and in the end the last one you do that and then you do some subtract which uh, subtraction which take uh, each subtraction takes only O of N right so you have this uh, this recurrence with, with three okay and then you get the, the running time so I'm, I'm not going to talk about much about the implement implementation details but that's that's roughly the idea okay instead of three multiplication you you get it done with uh, instead of four multiplications you get it done with three just three multiplications and that's improved the running times so that's it um thank you